so this is all in the this hasn't been uploaded to the server this is just in the preview sec section of expression web so you can see we can go into any page like let's say news we'd like this news category we can just add our content whatever we want and we just rename the folders and the pages and we go into as we customize this to meet our needs now let me show you one last thing this is uh, we can also change out these photos if we don't like them so what we do there is I just bring my cursor into this area and left click it and you can see up here it's a good idea on this uh, they call this the breadcrumb trail but it shows you make sure it's, your cursor is where it's supposed to be so I can see I'm on the image right now right image image so all I have to do now is just click delete and it's gone now I don't move my cursor I'm gonna just swap out that photo so now I come over here to insert picture from file I have a picture already loaded on my uh, desktop so there it is picture and we can just call it picture and then a nice picture uh, there we go okay now it's imported that from my desktop but as you can see it's way too big so what we if we want to change the size of this all we have to do is right click bring up picture properties and you can see here um, a couple things one thing it has a border around it I really don't want a border so I change that to zero and you can see it's 640 by 480 pixels that's way too big so we're just gonna change that to 200 and go OK watch what happens see look at that now it's still maybe a little smaller than I want it now I can just drag it and get it to where I want it like that so just swapped out a picture like that now I can say save early and often save now it's asking me if it wants to import this photo into the actual website and the answer is yes so we go OK now it's imported that from my desktop here it is here I really probably want this inside the image folder so what we're gonna do is let me do this we're gonna drag this picture to the images folder so let's do that images and just pop it in there so now all my images are stored in the images folder okay so that's basically how you can do a website let me show you one other thing if we go back to our master DW template one thing to remember about this is that if you try to hit preview it won't preview uh, it's not usually supposed to preview from the the DWT page so um, it's best to hit preview only from an actual website page so um, we'll go back to DWT here and this we should see the style sheet link so here is a link to the style sheet you can see it's linking to style sheet one there what we can do to change this up let's let me show you something real fast let's see what it looks like again look at these colors I don't know if you like these colors kind of a olive green everything seems to be working we would just like I said rename everything as we needed but so remember what this looks like now we'll go back to this and we're just going to change that from style sheet 1 to style sheet 2 and you'll see the color changes that it offers you so this is the way and we'll save that and it's yes the answer is yes come back back to the default page and let's hit F12 and see what it looks like let's just say automatically save so we don't hit yes okay so you see the the color format seems to have changed a little bit from different font colors and from before we can go back and change this to style sheet 3 see what that looks like and you just the object of this is just to play around with it and tell you yes the answer is yes 
Oh, this doesn't look like much. Uh, oh, this is a little bit, quite a bit of a change in color. So let's look at this. Yeah, so you can see the colors changed. So what you can do is you can play around with it. Um, by playing around with the tem templates, it does take a while. You're going to make some trials and errors, and that's fine because that's how you learn. The templates from, uh, within Expression Web allow you to really figure out how this is working, how everything works. And really, it's just a question of pulling up the template, then going in and customizing it to meet your needs. When you're all done customizing it, and it might take you some time to get it just how you like it, but I guarantee if you do a couple of them like this, you'll really get a feel for Expression Web and what it can do and how easy it is to create a pretty nice looking website. When you're ready to publish that, the website, upload it to a hosting account. Let me show you how you would do that. I'm actually planning a second video on this. You go to Publishing. So we went to Site View, Publishing, and then you add a publishing destination. You would give this a name like My First Test Site. In here, you would put the location of your account, your hosting account, and the folder that it was in, and then your username and your password. Then you would add it, and it will automatically connect to your hosting account. So this is pretty slick. They've actually made it so that Expression Web can upload using FTP, the file transfer protocol, pretty quick. Um, but there is a whole thing involved with uploading to hosting accounts that I can uh, go over later. So that's about it uh, for now. We'll go back to finishing this up in preview view. So here's our website. And this is how easy it is to do a website. Play around with it. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, email me or leave a question, a comment. And I'll be happy to help you in any way that I can. And uh, like I said before, if you get a chance, if you can visit us, at expressionweb.us and take advantage of some of the resources there, I think you'll be on your way. So thank you very much and have a nice day.